my name is David Warner, uh, but I am presenting today on behalf of Zhao Mendez. Uh, he has created an excellent sample that is going to provide a number of benefits, opportunities, and uh, ways in which we can see how uh, we can utilize a number of resources that are available to us today. And then we want to highlight uh, and really celebrate everyone that's doing the great work. And so Zhao has uh, allowed me to kind of do that for him today. Now, the document links accordion. Let's take a quick look at what that looks like. Uh, it's it's going to take information from a library. Uh, obviously, we're looking at documents, and it's going to allow us to group them together by way of either metadata around the list or the library uh, and display it in an interactive way. Now, you may say this looks a lot like list formatting, and, and that's true. It does. Uh, he's actually gone to some great lengths to, to make it look a little more natural. But there's benefits in this in using the SPFX web parts and the resources that he has decided to use. And so we're going to take a look at that. We can see that we're able to utilize that information so everything gets condensed down nicely. Uh, we see that we're able to utilize the iconography to identify. We see the view all there as well. Uh, and so let's take a look at what he decided to utilize from a resources perspective. Uh, the first thing is the PNP React controls. We saw those mentioned on the call earlier. Uh, they are controls that are already pre-built for you, whether it be uh, the, the presentation layer, as we will see today with the accordion control, uh, or perhaps the property control, which he is also using, but we won't highlight as much today. Uh, pre-built components that are available for you to take advantage of, to not reinvent the wheel, and we'll talk more about that as well. He's also using PNPJS. Now, uh, I know this is near and dear to most of our hearts, and I say most because there are new ones in the community all the time, and once you learn about it, you will absolutely love it. Uh, it provides a fluent API to connecting to SharePoint. It allows you to do batching and caching. Um, it is absolutely bar none the best way to interact with data. And again, so much effort has been put into these resources for you to take advantage of to accelerate your ability to develop amazing and great things. And, and that's really what Zhao has showcased today. Uh, it, the simplicity is, is the magic here around this particular uh, sample. So let's take a, a look at the demo of, of how it is used. So we're going to edit our web part. We're going to, excuse me, edit our page, and we're going to throw the web part, look for the accordion, and throw it onto our page. Uh, and this is also, by the way, the configure document links accordion web part. That is also a React control that we'll see that you can take advantage of that kind of lets everyone know when the page loads, hey, something has to happen. You need to go edit the web part to configure it. Uh, so they're not just left unknown, not sure what to do next, right? Uh, it provides guidance. So we're going to edit that web part. Uh, it, we, we've got the title there. Then we're able to select the document library that we're going to take advantage of. So I've got media, some books, and some movies uh, stored into a document library. And then we've got all the fields that we can group by. Uh, so maybe the most popular to start with is, is type. So we're going to select type. We're going to apply that. And we're going to see that it now tells us the file type. So we see that there's MP4s, uh, videos. We see that there's PDFs. We see that it's ordered by alpha numeric. Uh, and then we see the identification clearly of the iconography that shows that it's it's you know closed, not open. There might be a better opportunity because we have extra metadata that we could always use. So I've created a media type that's a little bit more huh, human readable, right? Not everyone's going to know what an MP4 is or a PDF. So I'm going to apply that. And now you see it, it's a little more uh, self-explanatory. Book, video, right? So now I can understand the groupings a little bit better. So if I expand that, we see that simple experience. Uh, and if we look at the information, we see that it still orders uh, by alphanumeric. We've got some amazing stuff here to read. Cooking with Code, Recipes by Chef Hugo, Tales of Heroic Hairs, Memoirs Patrick Rogers. We see our videos, Power Wrapping, The Sweet Beats with April Dunham, and of course, the Equestrian Expose, The Unauthorized Story of Warrior Horses. So you can see it's simple, but it's very powerful in being able to display information rapidly. Also, again, that view all, which kind of gives that sense of, hey, this is going to match the other components that are available to you uh, and that you have access to. We throw it into uh, an emulation of a mobile experience, and we see it works just the same. As we would expect all of our out-of-the-box components to do, this matches that experience as well. And we see back to normal, it looks great, and everything is good. Now, again, the simplicity is the magic here, really. So let's take a look at the code, and we'll see that there's, there's really some basic information here. Uh, but what we're going to highlight, we're not going to go too, too deep into the code, but what we're going to highlight is, is where he utilized the resources that really make it easy. So we see here he's importing the accessible accordion 
uh, from the React controls. He's importing the placeholder. Uh, and what this allowed Zhao to do is to quickly and rapidly deploy a functionality without having to reinvent the wheel, without having to spend a bunch of time, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment, uh, recreating what others have already done. And so you may say, hmm, how many lines of code does it take to create something like this when you're able to leverage all of the great work from the community? Well, good thing you asked. 357 lines of code is what was written here. And that's with everything broken out, right? If you were to, to sort of minify this a little bit, you might have less. So it really uh, it exemplifies how you can take advantage of the resources that are available to accelerate. So what are some of the benefits uh, that we gain by utilizing and looking at samples like this? Well, the first is reuse, right? We talked about time being money. Don't reinvent the wheel. These resources have been curated and updated and upgraded and all that good stuff to make them constantly available for the newest version of SharePoint and the M365 tenancy. So use it. Don't spend your time reinventing that wheel, reinventing that cog when you've got so much available to you. And they're extensible. It's not like you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. All these things are open source, so you're able to extend them if you want. And guess what? Once you You've extended them, you can contribute back. So it's a great, great benefit. Samples like this are also fantastic to learn, right? So what Zhao has provided is he's taken a number of open source resources and tools, PNPJS, React Controls, Property Controls, and he's shown how to use them together. And then he didn't just say, oh, I've learned that. Cool. He's actually shared it with everyone else. Uh, and so this is a great opportunity to use that uh, and learn from it. The next benefit is you could use this as an accelerator, right? So uh, while it may look like, well, there's not a whole lot going on here, but but again, that's the magic, is it gives you a baseline here to create more and add more to it. Uh, perhaps you wanted to add the ability to maybe hover over that and have an adaptive card uh, when you hover over the document and it shows a little preview of it. So uh, part of the work has already been done for you. So these are fantastic opportunities, or excuse me, benefits for you to utilize a lot of these samples that are uh, that are done, this one specifically by Zhao. What are the opportunities for us then when we think about creating maybe our own samples, uh, m matching what Zhao has done? Well, uh, the first opportunity is obviously you're able to share and we want you to share. Uh, you have created great things and you may even have created something and said, hmm, it, I liked it, I learned from it, but it's so simple. I'm afraid that it might be too simple to share in the community. Please, please, please don't ever think that. What Zhao has created here is a fantastic tool from many perspectives, and we know you have them too. So please don't hesitate to share. Please don't ever think that what you have created is not shareable. Absolutely is, and we encourage you. But as mentioned earlier, we understand that there may be some nervousness around that. Maybe you've not done that yet. Maybe you've not submitted a sample. Uh, maybe you've not worked with GitHub. Well, again, Sharing is Caring is that program we mentioned earlier that provides hands-on sessions and contribution guidance, and we absolutely are going to help you contribute the amazing things that you've created. And then guess what? Once you've created them, you're going to want to share them with the world in sessions like this and presentations like this, but you might be a little nervous about that. So we have the buddy system in place. And you've seen the buddy system in the past where we will team up with you and provide assistance in that presentation, even present with you or for you if you want, because we know that what you're creating is fantastic, just like what Zhao has created is fantastic. So again, please don't hesitate, reach out, get involved. Uh, all these URLs are open and available for you. These programs are here for you. We wanna encourage you to do more uh, and help you do more, not just tell you, okay, here's how you go do it. Let us know when you've done it. Nope, we want to be there right with you every step of the way. So take advantage, reach out to myself, Hugo, April, any member of the PNP team and the Sharing is Caring team, and we would love to help you. On behalf of myself and Zhao, thank you all again. Uh, you can get the code here at the GitHub link, or you can just simply go to aka.ms forward slash SPFX dash web parts, uh, and you can learn more about those components. You can also go to React Components and PMPJS to learn more about those tools and resources as well. So thank you all again. Patrick, back to you. Awesome stuff as always. Thank you, David.